Darien for sure. Silver ingot. Rotten cheese. Oh wow. There was another way to oh on my step. Look at that. Okay, so we got Warding Bond, which lasts until long rest. That's right. This is freaking ridiculously stupid. Guy, self, Lester, charm, person, turn on dead. The restoration. A potion off that old bat again. Yeah, I'm gonna put combat spells on top. A buff spell on bottom. There we go. That makes more sense to me. Okay, then I can never bless. Well, some I can never bless, but you know. Until a long rest. So oh, crazy. Oh, I can only do it to another person. They'll take half, but she'll take the same amount of damage. Of half. At least things have stayed interesting. I want to have a word. Look, but just don't touch it. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Until Roland shows off his thunder wave. I don't want to draw any attention. Wait, what? Is it because my stealth is so freakishly high? caught someone's attention what will you do uh i why did you stand up my question reload <laughs> why do you stand up game what my character just stood up, ran over, and took the thing instead of sneak over and take the thing. What is going on? That was so stupid. Everything. I think that's everything. 
need any attention right now. A fine teacher. Or a baker. Or a butcher. Breathe quiet. Move with care. This calls me careful for work. <laughs> no helping it. We're exposed now. Best keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Die if I met Laroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. Your thievery has been noticed. Choose your next move carefully. Ow. How has it been noticed? It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. I need to be invisible. Give me invisibility, please. It would be so good right now. Look, I'm not... I didn't... Yeah, I should have gotten invisibility instead of the tech tots. Because I already had the tech tots. Ah... <sighs> This is why you gotta be careful when you level up. Is that everything? I think that's everything. So that a whisper. Okay, so they just automatically notice you. Interesting. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear. Just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. That forge is holding on by a thread. You were a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more... eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me... There's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Let me see your wares. Saving club plus one for a shield. Heavy crossbow Heavy plus one. Rolling. We'll get to the city soon. Pretty I good. am not grumpy. Scowl on your face. Short bow. <laughs> You're an idiot. Ooh, this gives hunter's mark. Wait a minute. Hmm. So if I give something Hunter's Mark and then assassinate it, that means the Hunter's Mark would double. Oh my my. Oh my my. How long until Roland shows off his Thunder Wave? Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. Constitution saving throw. Man. Strength saving throw. I die if 
I met Laroa can reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. Alright, we'll, we'll do that. Them. It lasts until a long rest. Now that is a good bow. Because now I can Hunter's Mark something and then Critical Strike, which gives me a D6. And that doubles to 2D6. Oh my god. That's crazy damage. And this is also a plus one, one too. Oh. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face would front a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I, I don't like How that. Long until Ronan shows off his thunder wave. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. Also, a musical instrument. Which, in my opinion, is a tool. In the toolbox, it goes. They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. <sighs> um, two tiefling refugees. You'll be lucky to get a square of dirt at a public house. If that's what we're offered, we'll take it. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. It depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> Stone True. door. I'll talk to the guards. Baldur's Gate. I speak what I need to know. Caravan no. escort. else might. 
minds their business, I'll be fine. Best keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. The gate needs fortification. How the hell does she know? You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Something's on my mind. Your help at the gate was appreciated. Never thought I'd say this to a drow, but... Thank you. I'm Zevlor, and you're... Ah. <sighs> Bear me your platitude upon my people. I don't need them. I meant no insult. It's simply that yours are a people at war with themselves. I've never known them to care for outsiders. Whatever your business here, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This latest attack will only strengthen their resolve. Hmm. Those goblins, have there been many attacks like that? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. What brought you here? We are refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after goblins and gnolls attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent, an infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of Elturel briefly dragged to the hells. Hmm. Maybe your people should have stayed in hell. It seems you're of a mind with our hosts here, but their ritual will force you out too. This ritual, is there no way to convince a druid to stop them? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. What are you offering for my aid? What little we have, we'll scrape together. It isn't coin we need. It's time. I'll see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, more of my people will die. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Oh, and if it's of any concern, you're brave to walk around without hiding your heritage. I'll make sure everyone knows that you helped us at the gate. Oh, my bad. I don't need to hide my heritage. Past those goblins. They'll find it. All right, Light I just stopped trying to steal stuff like this. <clears throat> I am going to kill them all. All of them. I will get as much help out of them as I possibly can, and I'm killing all of them. We've known enough grief this 10 day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. The heck? Die if I met Leroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I have to burn them. What I did was Bex? No help. 
stopping it. We're exposed now. Damn druids. Mm. Who uses wooden tools? And again. Swing and swing and... We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. Hmm. Leave on your own. Why wait? That is tempting. But I could never leave Leah behind. As irksome as she may be. If only she understood. The longer we wait, the longer the horrors of the wilds imperil us. Hmm. No, I don't want him to go. Okay. I know that sounds like the evil thing to do, but but I don't want him to go. I want him to stay here so I can get the goblins to come and kill everyone. Him included. Baldurgate isn't going anywhere. Why the hurry? I have been offered an apprenticeship by none other than Laroakan. Yes, that Laroakan. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. This will change everything. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. Hmm. Good idea. Powerful acquaintances never hurt. If it's powerful acquaintances you're after, you have to look no further than yours truly. Few can match me, in either magic or talent. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. I love all you. You're level three. We're all level three. Calm your ass Happy down. Happy Dolly, Roland. We'll get to the city. Those soon. goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Now. Auntie Ethel and Otta. Again. Swing and swing and carry. And again. Swing. Fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. This slop is beneath me. Hmm. See how you feel when your pack is empty. It'll be this or a handful of weeds. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me. We'll be leaving soon. Ah, oh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Uh, let her fuss over you? What are you, an alchemist? Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! 
You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Um, might this concoction also help with something more serious? Well, that depends. What's wrong, lovey? Hmm, I have a condition, an unusual condition. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Why, she sounds positively demented. I love <laughs> it. Let's tell her everything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Ah. <sighs> I've got a mind flare, flare parasite in my head. As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. I doubt a simple potion will suffice. This problem calls for strong magic. Petal, the things I've collected would blow your pretty little mind. Bracelets that hold the power of ten men, mirrors that capture the soul. I'll be heading home soon. Here, let me mark it on your map, just in case. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Mm, what harm? Show me your wares. Hey, bother. Potion of greater healing. God dang. Ocean of invisibility. Ooh. That's expensive. <laughs> Elixir of Hill Giant Strength. You drink it, you get 21 strength forever until you rest. That is insane. What? Also costs a metric ton of money. Don't be grumpy, Roland. It's the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face, before All right. you. Be careful on the road. You're an idiot. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Peck. Oh man, look at all that. Look at all of that. I guess I have to take out the gith in order to uh, talk to this guy. Soul Root. We should be getting drunk at least. It's no fun waiting for death sober. Alright. Warding bond. Mm. 
Oh, when you die, your potion elixir also die if I met go away. This place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. All right. Five to initiative. That's pretty dang good. I, I'm so sad that there's no dodge action. I don't know why there isn't a dodge action. Okay, let's save. Spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! word we need to get arabella out now you heard the guards they're waiting on corker to give word i'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake Ugh. um you need to be careful that bear would have torn you to shreds i don't give a rag about me it's my daughter i'm worried about Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Breaking into druid chambers to steal a sacred relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. Hmm. <laughs> um. Well, like you said, it is your fault. You should have tried parenting her. And you should bugger off now. Palms. Uh. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Well, I mean, you're Hellspawn. Why would they care about you? We could you? help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Okay. Magrin, give her a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. <laughs> um, if it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. But a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. Oh, say dark. Away! Away! 
Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove or face our claws. A 19 health bear. That is pathetic. I'm watching you, Drow. We all are. Oh, I'm so scared. I can't wait to send people here to kill you all. Keep away from Tufet. She's lazy enough. Wait, that's Volo? Oh my god. He's the one to, who wrote the guide. Alright, we're gonna go here first. wrong can't you hear it her singing it's awful terrible um <laughs> it's quite the racket you should just spare your ears by leaving we can't our brains are melting karina drag me away the big one is right we should go before it's too late. With my last strength, I will save us both. Away! Away! <laughs> oh, there's chess over there. Come on, come on, yeah. Beautiful. What is that? All right. First of all, I do not trust this potion. How does a simple person like her make a freaking greater healing potion? This is insane. Soothing song, when you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also regain hit points? That's insane. Are you my bard? Can you become my bard? Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. Uh, stay silent and listen, I guess. How can I put this? That sounded a little unpolished. It sounded like a cat being strangled. God damn it! The animals agree. Why else would they? Why else do you think they left? Uh, I thought they were cheering me on. Uh, even animals think I'm terrible. I want to finish this song, but I can't. Nothing fits, you know? Hmm. Why are you songwriting now? Hardly the best time. I... We lost people on the way here and the dead deserve to be remembered that's what my teacher always said hmm can i help you finish the song hmm it can't hurt i have her i have an extra loot if you want uh First things first, what about, the, what's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her. 
dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. <laughs> Keep going. What would you say to your teacher if she were here right now? That... That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you... For everything. Alright, that's what the lyrics needs to say. Moon... Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love... I can't... Repay... Wait. Where did the sound of all the other instruments come from? This is only a loop. I'm pretty sure I hear flute. And, and that studio quality level of production. There's the idol. That song was beautiful. Worthy of a few tears. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Hmm. Well, you come up with a fine tribute to her. Lihala said that's why eulogies were important. They were for the living as well as the dead. I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. 
Thank you. I, I needed this. You're welcome. You're level one, yet you are twenty six HP. But my song is getting there. Oh, I am such a cruel person, guys. I am doing everything to keep people here. So eventually I'll send the goblins in to kill them all. This is the long game right here. Auto save successful. Is someone singing? It's beautiful. Probably siren. I can definitely hop across that or even teleport across it. But before we do that, let's go to the secluded cove. Quietly. A sweet melody beckons you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. Hmm.
Jesus, they're so tough. Was it a natural 20? No, it's just dealing 46 damage. Jesus.
You're kidding me. I thought when you pass... Okay. You can cast two spells a turn. Okay. <sighs> Necrosis, why? Why is he exuding necrosis when he died? Necrotic aura. Interesting. So glad that they don't attack you. <laughs> Missile snaring? Kidding me. 